So technically, I've been one for a long time, mm -hmm. but I'm, and I should know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I'm still trying to figure out adulting. Oh, there's a lot of life skills and lessons that, well, both of us may not have learned in school, you know, like fixing your car or good money habits. Well, our KVU's Luis de Leon visited the Round Rock Public Library to learn about a little thing called Adulting 101. Walking into adulthood can sound scary to some. Trying to figure out even simple things like filling out a college application, managing your money, or even learning some of the basics on how to fix your car. Definitely you need to have at least a little bit of know-how. Michael Hine agrees. It's more beneficial to have this kind of knowledge. And places like the Round Rock Public Library are helping 12 to 18 year olds figure some of that out. They call it Adulting 101. I had no idea it was going to be this popular. Jane Dance is the youth service librarian at the Round Rock Library. She organizes these events with the help of a board of teens for recommendations. Then they bring in speakers to teach a certain topic. Everything from getting a job to CPR, money management, buying a car, stress relief, and much more. Try to do some of the more serious stuff, but throw in some things that are a little bit of fun as well. Better yet, it's free, and Dance says they've had more than 50 kids turn out for an event. It's very rewarding to see these teens at actually wanting to be here at the library and also for us to be able to give them some life skills. We, we are offering something that the teens can't get somewhere else. And some adults today agree. We had adults turn up saying, hey, this is, this is something that I could actually benefit from. You may not be a lifeguard, you know, may not be you know, certified or anything else, but at least you have some knowledge, know-how that's better than nothing. And you know, certain cases. In Round Rock, Luis De Leon, KVU News. Other libraries in our area have hosted series like this in the past. If you want to learn more about how to get involved, go to KVU.com.